Mr. Red here. Today is September 24th, uh, 2018. I'm in uh, Beauchene subdivision, Beauchene. We're right in Mandeville, Louisiana. And uh, today, yeah, September 24th, and it's late, but we got us a swarm right on the top of this roof here. What I, what, and I'll show you the swarm once once I, I show you what I got. So all, all I'm going to do, I've got my little nuke, and uh, I've got five really nice uh, drawn-out combs frame in there. Um, the swarm's not a real big one, and I'm going to show you a picture of it. But uh, I think they're going to jump right into this box right away. i got a little lemongrass oil in there as well. We're just going to get up on the ladder, put the box up there, and see if we can get that queen to get in there and let the rest of the girls get in there. So by the grace of God, in about 20 minutes, these bees right here, they come back up to the abbey with me. Let's wrangle them. <laughs> now this is where the bees are, on the very top. It's not a really steep pitched roof. And they're going right there by that vent, that plumbing vent right there. They're not in there yet because the bees, you can see, they're still on the roof. They're just hanging around the roof. So this ought to be a pretty straightforward job. Put the box right there, let the bees crawl on in. And I'm not even gonna try to capture the queen. I'm just gonna let her go in. Maybe we can see her as she goes in though. All right, let's get up on that roof and uh, catch us some bees. All right, got the box on the roof and that march has already started. I looked for the queen on the bees out here and and I did not see her. But she may have gotten underneath the uh, the tiles. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna keep on looking. I mean, you can see that march. They're going right into the box. Look at that. But you kind of like have to expect it. And at this rate, we should see our queen Cause they're, they're coming around all the way from the other side, marching around. I can smell the uh, lemongrass oil in that box. These bees have got their rumps up in the air fanning. They're calling in all the bees that are up in the air right now to come on down. And maybe these could just be uh, scout bees and the main swarm of bees could be in one of these trees around here. But look at this. Look at these guys right here. Everybody's got their rumps up in the air fanning. So they're calling. We're starting another nectar flow right now, and so this would be the time that they uh, would leave, is right, right at the onset of a, a, a flow. Well, I just found the rest of the bees. Look at this. Let's see if we can find them in the camera. All right, I can't see this, the, this, the ball of bees up in the tree through the camera but I know I'm pointing the camera right at it. So there's a, there's a big clump up there. That's two or three pounds of bees up in the air right there. So our queen still hasn't come down yet. I'm waiting them out. Well, it's 3.30 and I gotta get going. Uh, I got class tonight and uh, so I'm gonna cover up the box and you know, hopefully the, uh, the, the bees up there are going to decide to come down here. All right, so we're gonna have to check back with these girls tomorrow. Until then. Well, it's been two days uh, since I started this video, uh, getting those swarm, that swarm of bees off of, off of uh, the lady's house up in Beauchene. And, uh, and I finally got, got around to, to building a little box form and uh, um, to, to put a feeder in. And, what I'm doing is the it wound up the the bees that swarm was so big that it filled up the five frame uh, the nuke box and since it was a swarm here we are we're starting a nectar flow right now but we're not into it right now and uh, so I need to feed these bees uh, I don't want to feed them an external feeder so I really do like the uh, the internal feeder 
uh, feeders. And these are really nice because they, they'll hold a gallon of, of sugar water. And it's, it's simply a plastic tray. Um, and there's this little piece of wood that holds on the top. And then you have these two um, tubes inside of it. And what happens is you, when you fill your, your plastic tray with the sugar water, and the level of water goes up, the bees will come into the top right here and, and they'll start feeding. And as the water drops, as the sugar water level drops, then the bees just follow it down until all the way uh, gets to the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, put the, the feeder inside the box and, uh, and then go ahead over to the uh, where I've got them right over on the side over here. I've been nursing all these, these cutouts and swarms and uh, tree removals that I've been doing over the last four or five weeks and I'm housing them right behind the honey hut so uh, because I've got to feed them constantly so it's just an ease for me to, to work the bees back here. So I'm going to put on my suit because it's overcast, it just finished raining. Put on my suit and uh, I'm going to get out there, I'm, I'm going to fill the, the uh, sugar water tray up before I, I start removing the, the, the bees and because uh, I really want to do this uh, quick like. So let's head over right back there and we'll get this going. All right, I want to kind of get this thing going. You can hear the thunder going already, so it's going to be raining shortly. And I'm going to fill the uh, feeder up um, even before I transfer these bees just to speed this whole thing up. I want to move those frames of bees into this box as fast as I can and then go ahead and, and shift this box over to where that little five frame nuke is. They've already oriented on that spot, so that's what we're going to do. So just fill this thing up. Once this is filled up, uh, I'm going to pop that top and grab some bees. All right, I'll do that. Just go ahead and pop this top over here. I mean, this, this little five frame nuke is just full of bees. For a September swarm, this, this was a pretty fair sized swarm. I'm just looking real quick and see if I see her. You know I can't help myself. And these frames that I used, they were all drawn out frames, old comb so there's these guys they're ready to work they've got something to fill you don't have to build the comb it's already there Ooh, that's a lot of bees I think she's on this frame right here they're so clustered up They're already capping some of this stuff. Alright, let's look in the box, see if she's here. Because I found her in the box before. No, I do not see her. Let's 
go ahead and slide this right back to where the other one was. Make sure the opening is on the right side. All right. I just didn't see her. high beetles in there so we'll just leave that alone all right let's close this thing up before that rain comes down on us these girls have some peace all right that's all i have for you in this one ah it's, it's successful nice swarm of bees for september i don't know you know whether they'll make it through the winter or not but we'll give it a try so thanks for watching keep on watching i'll be making more god bless mr red I'm out of here until the next video. And then there's these rubber bands that they, they sell with it and they just clip over it. There's three of them that uh, clip over the top to hold uh, the piece of wood in. This one doesn't want to hold too good. <laughs>